Okay, so to go over the answer to the Power Strategy 1 question on the previous page, let's take a look at the chart that's in question. So here's a chart. What we first need to do is we're obviously looking for an AB equals CD, so pause the video and see if you can try and find the trade. Did you find it? Well, there it is. That's the AB equals CD. So we've got our first point, second point becomes a B point, a retracement down becomes a C point, and then an equal amount of the move from A to B from point C creates point D. So now looking at this chart, where would you enter? Now what you may want to do is just pause the video and just work it out and then restart the video. So in terms of where you're going to enter, from point C we're obviously going to be going long because the A, B, C, D is an up move, meaning we are trying to capitalize on the move from C to D and because we think that price is going to go up, we want to go long. So where exactly are we going to go long? We're going to go long at the 25% mark, meaning from point C, we are going to wait for price to go up 25% of the move from A to B. Remember, I always refer to the move from A to B because from point C, the price hasn't even started to go up yet. We don't know. This, this portion of the chart from point C onwards doesn't exist yet. So we're always going to be referring to A to B because we are looking for a move from point C upwards that is equal to the move from A to B. So we're going to take 25% of this move from A to B and once price moves up that much, that's where we're going to enter. So our entry is as indicated. That is a 25% move of A to B from point C going up. Now what about where you're going to be placing your stop? Now we know with strategy 1 trades, we want to be placing our stop below the C point. So our stop is going to be as shown. And now what about where you're going to move your price to break even? According to the strategy 1 trade rules, we want price to go up 50% from point C, meaning another 25% from our entry point in order for us to move our stop to break even. So where exactly is that? You can pause the video and then restart it once you've figured it out. So we're going to move our stop to break even when price reaches this place right here. That is 50% from point C. Now when I'm talking about 50%, 50% of what? 50% of the move from A to B. So when you work out the price at A and work out the price at B, you will know exactly how many pips there are between A and B. Work out 50% of that, and that many pips from point C upwards is where you're going to move your stop to break even. Now what happens at break even? You're going to simply move the stop that is here on this red line up to the black line, which is your entry price. What that means is now, if price went down, and came down below the entry price, that means you bought at the entry price, and because your stop loss is at the entry price, you're going to sell at the entry price. That means you bought and sold at the exact same place, meaning you do not lose any money. So it's a way of preserving our capital, just as a worst case scenario of price going against us. So after that price, where are you going to exit? So you can pause the video now, figure it out, and then just restart the video. So did you work it out? With a strategy 1 trade, we are always exiting at point D. So we will be selling at point D. Why are we selling there? Because we bought first, so we want to sell to get out of the position. And why did we buy first? It's because we are expecting an up move from point C to point D, so we want to capitalize on that. Meaning we want to buy first and then sell at a higher price. What about our risk reward here? You can pause the video, work it out, and then just restart the video. So with the risk reward we're looking at 
the distance between the entry and the stop, that's our risk, and then the distance between the entry and the exit, that's our reward. So we've got a 25% difference between the entry and the stop, and we've got a 75% difference between the entry and the exit, because we have 25% of the break even, then up to the 100%, that's another 75%. So if we enter at 25% and we're exiting at 100%, that's a 75% difference. So we've got 75% for the reward and 25% for the risk. That equals a 3 to 1 risk reward. Meaning for every dollar we risk, we make $3 in this trade. So I hope you got that right. If you didn't, you may want to go over the previous module again and make sure you fully understand exactly what was covered. If you did, then please continue over to the next page and we'll go through another example.